Good afternoon, my name is Sean Robertson and I'm Sales Director here at Sunseeker International. And today I wanted to take you through an exciting new model being the 100 yacht. Now why is this model so important going forward? It's because it's being driven by a regulation change and trying to maximise those regulations for the benefit of our clients out there. Now this regulation change is hitting us in January 21. Uh, it hits the whole industry and it really means that a boat of a of 24 meter load line, which is a bit of a complicated calculation, but in effect, it means a boat that is over this 100 feet total in length will have to conform to commercial regulations. Now that's commercial regulations, particularly in the way of emissions from the engines. What that would mean to a client is that the space required in the engine room to accommodate these changes by exhaust cleaning systems um, and the cleaning liquid that has to go with that, like an ad blue tank in a car, but you can imagine how big it is on a yacht, would mean that you would drastically reduce the space for the client on board because you would need that much more technical space. So what we've done is taken that regulation, we've pushed it to the maximum and created the 100 yacht. Now, sure, she's basically 98 feet, 99 feet overall length, 22 foot beam. She's running on conventional shafts and has either V12 or V16 MTUs to give it the, you know, its power. This will give it anywhere between 25 to 28 knots maximum speed, but very efficient cruising as with all the yacht range, really from 11 knots all the way through to its top end speed. So let's just first of all, before we go through the inside layout, let's look at the overall look. Now, I think we can all agree this is really a classic Sunseeker yacht look, which is unmistakable. But as with all the yachts evolving in these new release, releases, glazing, and the importance of this glazing is, is making a dramatic change to how the yachts look on the outside. So you'll see in this lower deck level, you've got the glazing running through the lower deck cabins. It's accentuated back here into this carbon and uh, molded feature. Forward, remember on this yacht, the, the master cabins on the main deck level. So again, you'll see forward here, the glazing will really impact the natural light coming into that uh, master cabin. And then all the way through the saloon and dining, you're really looking at full height glazing, floor to ceiling. And with the ability of the glazed bulwarks as well, you've got that visibility from the saloon, from the dining area, all the way through the bulwark straight out to the sea. So it really accentuates the idea of being inside, but feeling that outside environment around you. So let's come down and we'll start at the stern on the main deck level and for starters we've obviously got the traditional Sunseeker hydraulic bathing platform. Great for launching, recovery of the tender, but also it means that when you're at the stern of the yacht you've got a great swim on swim off platform, you can have chairs there sat at water level, it's just a great place to be when you're sat anchored in a bay. The difference is forward of that We've now got this beautiful garage space, which will take a four and a half meter tender and a two or three seater jet ski within that space. But rather than it launching by coming over a rail system or via a crane, we've actually got a semi flooding garage. So drop the platform, open the door, and you're literally floating your tenders in and out. Once you've done that, and you still wanna use that space for entertainment, there is actually then a hydraulic floor up in the ceiling, a teak floor of the garage. Push the button, that floor drops down and creates a level beach club floor all the way through the garage space. So then with the door up, platform up or down, semi down, you've got a beautiful entertainment space at the stern of the boat. The door will also incorporate our extend system. So we're now, we've now launched that on two other models in the 90 Ocean and the 88 Yacht, which means that with the door in the upright position, 
you've actually got a sun lounger or sun loungers in the case of this one, two separate units, which fold out the door to create a extension to the upper aft cockpit. Or when the door is closed, it creates a sun bathing space over the bathing platform. So again, very, very flexible. Uh, it also comes with lighting, with AV, with a plug-in shower, uh, parasol canopy. So a very, very flexible space to use. Coming up to the aft deck, you've got two equal staircases swept around towards the stern, so a nice shape. And let's face it, this whole stern really has to look beautiful, as if you're med mooring, this is the first thing that you will see on the yacht. So a lot of effort's gone into how that looks, the shape of the seating, so it really is a very attractive viewpoint from the quayside. Now the aft deck itself is a total flexible space, so flat floor, no built-in furniture, and obviously depending if you're using the extend system, you know, this built-in sunbathing, if you want more casual seating, more formal dining, we have now a range of loose furniture that we can put onto this aft deck to make it work for yourself. Coming forward, a uh, multi-panel door that will fold all the way across to this port side if you want it completely open, or you've got a centre opening access just for personnel access through. A flush floor, so you're transitioning not over a threshold but completely flush, into a completely super yacht interior. Beautiful aft lounge seating, TV and AV on the starboard side with wet bar unit forward of that and then you transition into a fully functioning formal dining space. And you'll notice that there's clever cabinetry around the dining area to ensure that you can keep crockery, cutlery, glassware, silverware all easily to hand for the crew or the family, the guests, to be able to serve onto that dining table. One thing is here is all the furniture has been designed with the fact that you've got full glazing all the way through both sides. And in fact, on the starboard side here, you've even got the option of a opening glass patio door. So all of that furniture is relatively low profile to ensure that you don't lose that beautiful view from the inside to outside. So forward of the dining, you have a feature bulkhead forward above the storage as we've talked about. And then really you've got two completely different sides on the yacht. So port side brings you to a staircase that leads you to the wheelhouse and ultimately the flybridge deck, but also a sliding door that takes you into the almost full commercial galley. And the ideal with this is you have full height refrigeration, double refrigeration, immediately on this centre section with four individual units that can be all freezer, all fridge or a combination of the two, so completely flexible. Wet bar serving area on the port side and then into your main galley, cooking, storage, washing space, etc. You'll notice you have a door out to the side deck, so again for crew, bringing stores on board, very easy access without having to go through any of the guest spaces. And you'll notice then a separate doorway at the forward end of the galley, which gives the crew access down to this four peak, four peak crew cabin. So you've got crew space for five in three separate cabins. So captain on his own and then two bunked cabins, three en suites, so again, great privacy, and then their own mess space and small galley on the lower deck. So really being able to accommodate the crew at four or five people, depending if it's a private use or even as a charter boat. So we come back to the dining space. Obviously we went down the port side here to get to the galley. Starboard side, you've got an opposing staircase, which would take you down to the lower cabins, which we'll discuss in a minute. But forward of that, you come to a great uh, wardrobe, storage space on the right-hand side, coats, jackets, shoes, all stored away neatly. And in front of that, the day head for guests, obviously during the day without having to go into the cabins. Directly in front, doorway into a, an amazing master cabin. So you come through the door, huge storage, um, closed storage on the port hand side, starboard side, again, lower drawer storage with windows above. Forward again, you've got a walk-in area here again for closet space 
and a vanity or desk unit on the starboard side opposite. You then transition into the actual sleeping area, full AV, great window space on each side, a chaise long under the window on the port hand side here, and then a doorway going back aft again to lead you into an amazing uh, ensuite here with twin sinks, um, separate uh, toilet set space, and then a huge shower on the center line. All of this is on a single level as well, so there's no worries of up and down steps, particularly at night, or for older guests on board. So it works exceptionally well. There's one other key feature on this cabin, which we'll come back to later, because it's easier to explain from the outside. So coming back through to our lower deck staircase. So down these stairs brings you into the lower lobby. And from here, you've got four ensuite cabins. The aftmost two are slightly larger and with fixed double beds with ensuites on the aft bulkhead. Again, insulating you from any engine room or mechanical noise. And then the forward two are deemed as single bunks, but with an electric mechanism to slide together to give you that double if required. And again, great size, en suites, closet space. And also you'll notice all the way through, again, from this hull windows, that every cabin has great natural light flooding into it. So back to the main deck, before we go back outside, I'll just mention you've got this technical area here, which is underneath the wheelhouse, which is a great walk-in technical space for AV equipment, mechanical, electrical systems that is so easy to access in an air conditioned space and very easy for forward maintenance or updates that are required. So very important and often forgotten even on yachts of this size. So we'll come back to the up staircase on the port side forward of the dining area. This leads you straight into the wheelhouse. So she's a raised wheelhouse yacht. Uh, helm position for one, a very modern take on a yacht's bridge, glass bridge section, a lot of the controls integrated into those screens. And really importantly on this starboard side of that wheelhouse is this great sofa area. Now this, when you're running, sat there is a fantastic feeling because the view forward is amazing. You're sat there in air-conditioned comfort and a really brilliant place to see exactly what's going on on the nav screens and in the outside space in front of you. From the wheelhouse, you've got three steps up, which brings you up to the quite immense flybridge space. Now, every client will have a, a different idea on how he wants to use this. So we're, again, completely flexible with a flat deck and we have then various modules of seating to form relaxed seating, dining, more casual seating, wet bars, feature wet bars, we think that's key. And then on the aft end, we could uh, come back down to a spa tub, loose sun pads, you know, very, very flexible. And obviously in this starboard side of the aft flybridge, you have got a staircase which leads you back down to the aft deck. Now key on this yacht and a first for Sunseeker is that you can transition from the flybridge down the port and starboard side of the wheelhouse straight to the foredeck with only a single step at these two points here. This means that the foredeck space, so the sunbathing, the seating, although separated, is very easily joined for guests on board with the flybridge. So you, you've ended up now with a absolutely incredible linked entertainment space, which I think is a complete first in the market at this size. Now, earlier on, I mentioned one other feature in the master cabin that we would talk about, and that's right at the bow. So in the four peak, obviously this is normally a work area. It's your windlasses, cleats, fair leads, etc. normally just the crew space. But what we've done on this yacht is that the windlasses and the pocket anchors are hidden on two lockers here. So very easy access. They're not going to be difficult to use. So two hack, uh, hatch lockers lift up to get access and control. So when you're anchoring in a bay, coming into a harbour, dealing with lines, it's very, very easy. But what we've done is when they're hidden, 
So once you're moored up, once you're anchored, you drop the hatches back down and then you'll have a completely flat, again, entertainment space where we could have loose furniture, some bathers. We're even looking at an option of a hydraulic floor that will lift up and create a full sun pad forward in that uh, four peak area. You're well protected because you're right inside the bulwark, so a great private space. What makes it even more special is this door here, which is a sliding glazed door, which gives the master cabin direct access onto this four peak. So what an amazing place to be, waking up first thing in the morning, opening that dark door and being up to your own completely private um, entertainment space. Just, uh, again, I think a first in the market and a great use of overall space on this sort of flybridge four deck um, entertainment area. That's a very quick look through the 100 yacht. There's obviously a lot more to this project and we would love you to get in touch with us at Sunseeker or your local dealer and we welcome you into the Sunseeker family as soon as possible. Thank you very much.